Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's news throws a major curveball at the drone industry. The US government just blacklisted Autel Robotics. Let's dive in and see what this means for drone enthusiasts and the future of flight. Drones have become a game changer, from stunning aerial photography to assisting law enforcement. But what happens when security concerns take flight? The U.S. added Autel to its entity list, joining DJI, another big name in drones. This list restricts access to American technology for companies deemed a national security risk. Now, the reason for DJI's blacklisting in 2020 was human rights abuses. But this time, the focus is on potential ties between Autel and the Chinese military, the PLA. Lawmakers are worried these drones could be used for data collection or even spying. Autel denies these claims, of course. But the blacklisting throws a wrench in their access to cutting-edge U.S. technology. Imagine Autel wants a brand new, super-powered chip for their next drone. Well, getting it might be a whole lot harder now. So, what does this mean for you, the drone pilot? The good news is you can still fly your existing Autel drones, but future Autel models might not have the latest U.S. tech on board. But hold on, things get a little spy versus spy. Some lawmakers suspect Autel isn't as innocent as they seem. They point out job ads for military sales directors and collaborations with the PLA. Plus, some Autel drones marketed as Made in USA might actually contain parts from blacklisted Chinese companies. This blacklisting highlights a growing tension between the U.S. and China, particularly over technology. It's a complex issue, balancing security concerns with innovation. What will the future hold? Maybe Autel will find alternative technology sources. Perhaps the U.S. will invest in a domestic drone industry. One thing's for sure, this situation is far from clear. So what do you think? Is national security more important than access to the latest drone tech? Let's chat in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more drone news and insights. Until next time, keep flying safe.